and more good news for the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, the guys on the stage really don't need much of an introduction. Uh, Grizzlies President of Basketball Operations, General Manager Zach Kleiman will join us, of course, with Desmond Bain, who has just been signed to a new contract. And Des is, of course, coming off a career year, 21 and a half points per game, five rebounds. And I think the biggest number, as we watch the games, Des, almost four and a half assists per game. We start calling you downhill Des. I hope that's okay. Uh, because, yeah, because the other thing, too, is since Des joined the league in 2020, he has the highest three-point shooting percentage in the league among all players who have attempted at least 1,000 three-pointers. So you've really diversified your game. Uh, format of the press conference is going to be just like it was uh, yesterday. We'll take questions in the room. Laura's got the microphones. Uh, she'll recognize you, and then you can go ahead and ask your questions. We uh, have at least one question I think we got submitted via Zoom, and uh, we'll go until we're done with questions or time's up. First of all, Zach, I'm going to start this with you. Um, 30th overall pick. Sometimes you get Jimmy Butler or Kyle Anderson. Then some guys don't make it in the league. And what has impressed you about Dez's work ethic, his ability to continue to build his game to the point where you say he's one of the foundational pillars of this franchise? Yeah, we're, we're thrilled to be here today recognizing Dez as, you know, this is very much the, the cementing of, you know, Dez has come in from day one carried himself and embodied everything that, that we're about, that we're aspiring to be. You know, every single aspect that we've laid out, you know, of our DNA, uh, Des, Des embodies that. And to be able to, to sit here, you know, lock Des in, you know, on, on a max contract and, um, you know, just firmly establish him as a pillar, you know, of this organization going, going forward, it's been, um, it's been an amazing journey, you know, working through everything together, you know, so far, Des. And, um, the best is, is very much yet to come. There's still, this is still just the beginning, you know, but this is a significant step that we're, um, you know, we're thrilled to be able to recognize, you know, for you as we're continuing to um, all, you know, we're all pulling together to, to bring the first championship to Memphis. So uh, we're, we're all very excited to be here recognizing that today. Des, if you could, I mean, the negotiation period was pretty short after it was, a, you know, you were eligible to sign. What was the moment like when it got agreed to? What do you remember about that specific moment? And I guess what, what's the feeling like afterward? Yeah, I mean, it was it was great. Um, you know, I don't think the timing could have could have been any better. Um, you know, my son had just turned one years old and, um, you know, we have our whole family in town. Um, so so being able to celebrate that moment with them who have been along on the journey, um, you know, that started many, many years ago. Um, you know, and, and like Zach said, this is still the beginning, and um, we got bigger goals and, and aspirations that we're trying to reach here in Memphis. But um, to be able to celebrate that with them and everything to me. I mean, you already know this, but of those guys who so far have received max contract extensions in your class, you, you were the lowest drafted of that group. Uh, what does this mean to you, you know, to, to, to become a max player? Did you? When did you know that this was a possibility for you? Today. You know, I mean, I've, I've always he, been. He just signed it in the wrong line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, he signed it as the, the GM and president of the team. Yeah. I told him he's going to get, like, Dez is going to do that one day. I, I have no doubt about that as well. But he was he was excited to, to sign that dotted line. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. But, um, you know, I've always just, just been the kid that, um, you know, continue to work, um, you know, whether the recognition was, was given or not. Um, you know, my grandma was the one who really cared about all the recognition and stuff like that. Um, but I just continue to work and, um, you know, God has blessed me in, in many ways. And, and this is just another one of those ways. You just say yeah, I can hear you. There we go. Right. The night, the night you got drafted, is you were you were with your family, and you said when you talked to your grandma, you said I'm down playing the UIMCA. I want to be in the NBA. You got drafted three years later, max player. If your grandma, your grandma could sit you right, sit you right now, what do you think you would say to her, and what would she be saying to you? I mean, I would, I would just say thank you. Um, you know, first and foremost for for all the sacrifices that she made. Um, to, to put a ball in my hands. I mean, she was retired when she took me in, um, you know, but you never would have knew it, traveling all around the, the state, the, the country, um, get me to different players so we can carpool to go to games, whatever the case may be. 
Um, you know, she made a lot of sacrifices to be able to get me to the NBA. And then, um, you know, that foundation that she laid for me with my hard work and, and my character has got me to where I am um, since I've been in the business. Hey, Dad, sometimes when somebody get a new opportunity, sometimes you put more pressure on themselves. You've been one of the most level players in Grizzlies in the last few years. What do you do to make sure you don't put too much pressure on yourself because it's a new deal? Just keep trusting in my work. Um, you know, my work ethic and um, my habits have got me to this point. And, you know, now that I've signed a, a contract, you know, I don't think that I got to go out there and do anything miraculous. You know, just continue to improve and um, be the best player that I can be. And uh, yesterday, we know we had the new press conference with Marcus Smart as well. What do you think about the other players that are going to be added around you on this new contract going forward? I love our team. Um, you know, I mean, I think that we got a lot of great guys, um, first and foremost, a lot of guys that love basketball and we got a lot of guys that love competing. Um, you know, that's, that's what everybody wants. Um, you know, I think that we have the pieces to do something special. And um, come September, I'm excited to get to work. And for both of you, but different questions. So, just Zach, what made Dez a, a max player for you? Because just talking, it seemed like this wasn't a hard decision at all. What made him a max guy? And then for you, just an update, just how you, how you doing? How, you know, your toe foot and just that progress for you? This is an easy decision from the team standpoint. I mean, when you look at what Dez has done and, and the continued year over year growth, you know, continuing to get better. Des is one of the very best three-point shooters, you know, obviously in the league. Uh, but he, he's not just that, you know, offensively. He's someone who's improved, you know, year over year with the ball in his hands, making plays for himself and others, getting downhill, you know, as Pete alluded to. V you know, very good, you know, defender, switchable defender, you know, someone who's always locked into team scheme on what we're doing both ends of the floor, someone who's translated that and been really effective in the playoff context. And, again, you know, much more importantly at the end of the day, someone who is the definition, you know, of, of what Grizzlies DNA is, what we're about and, and what we're, you know, pushing forward together. We, we want people who are wired like Des, you know, driving us to get there. So um, not, not, uh, not the most complicated decision from our end. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm progressing, um, I think extremely well. I mean, Jared, um, he's probably the one to ask. It was funny, um, one of our equipment guys, I call him Slim, uh, was in there and he was like, man, you look like you're moving well. I was like, yeah, I do, you know, I'm feeling good. And I was about to tell him like, yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing this X, Y, and Z. And then I was like, man, I just listen to Jared at this point, you know, whatever he tells me to do. But, um, you know, another milestone checked off today, um, doing calf raises. I've been in the shoe for a while. I'm about to start running here soon and, and alter G and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I'm not too sure exactly what the timeline is, but I would say I'm right on it, if not a little bit of a head. So it's good. Des, does it mean anything to you to be the player with the largest contract in franchise history? Um, you know, I mean, it's a it's a blessing for sure. Um, you know, I mean, I, like I said, I mean, I don't think that that I got to really do anything differently. Um, you know, that, that I haven't done up to this point, you know, just continue to mature and improve and, and get better, um, you know, in all areas. But, um, you know, I'm super thankful. And, um, you know, like Zach said, I mean, it shows the commitment and the, you know, faith and trust that they have in me. And, um, you know, I'm willing to put it all on the line. We have a couple of Zoom questions. This comes to us from Ireland. James Conlon with RCB Radio in Ireland wants to know, and Zach, I think this is best directed to you. Tell us a little bit more about how you feel about the depth of this team, adding a Marcus Smart with Dez, and then, of course, um, you know, all the, all the talent that you have already in stock, and then adding Derrick Rose as well. Yeah, I think across multiple, you know, kind of facets, we feel great about where the team stands at this point. You know, being able to have more versatility, you know, on the floor with Marcus being able to be someone who could – you know, be the primary wing defender, play with Jaw and Dez out there. You know, if Jaw's off the floor, Marcus can be a primary ball handler. Dez can be the primary ball handler. You know, allows us to get Luke Kennard, you know, on the floor, you know, even more so as well. Um, I don't think it was lost on anyone just how uh, dynamic our offense was, you know, and we had both Dez and Luke out there together. You know, so being able to throw Marcus into the mix with them, you know, Marcus taking on that defensive assignment, Dez and Luke, you know, adding some real value there also, but having multiple ball handlers, multiple shooters, you know, what Jaron, you know, the gravity that he brings on the floor as well, 
you know, as a shooter and, you know, as, as someone who's continuing to, you know, develop his offensive game, you know, Steven, you know, getting back is going to be big for us. Santi spacing, got a lot of young guys who are playing great in summer league that we think are going to help really, you know, open up things, open things up for us on the court too. So um, we feel great about the, the versatility, you know, of our, of our options at this point. And, you know, just as importantly, we feel really good about the locker room, you know, makeup right now. What Marcus brings to the table, what Derek brings to the table, you know, Dez is a growing leader, you know, John Jaron is growing leaders as well. Uh, so both, you know, kind of on the court, in the locker room, uh, we're, we're, we're excited to dive in. We can't wait to get going. It's a perfect segue because uh, Parker Fleming asks, this is for you, Desmond, how do you feel that your leadership has grown through the years? Because every year the organization asks you to do a little something in those exit interviews, and, and, and it was more playmaking, and now it's more leadership. How do you feel that your leadership style or, or, or your voice in the locker room has grown since you've been a part of the Grizzlies franchise? Um, I mean, I think it's it's grown a lot. I mean, I came into training camp um, my first year not having a clue, um, you know, and then second year, third year, you know, now I'm starting to speak up, um, you know, and this, this is when I feel like I really take that next step, um, you know, I mean, getting guys together on the road, um, getting extra work in, like grabbing a guy, pulling him to the side, um, and just being that, that example um, that everybody can follow. Um, when it comes to my work habits and the way that I carry myself on and off the floor. So um, I'm, I'm very excited for the opportunity and um, can't wait to get, get it rolling. Uh, just for both of you, Zach, for you, regarding international basketball, you got a couple guys playing in FIBA, Santi, Jaron. Do you have conversations like with, you know, those basketball committees about like, because Jaren's probably going to be playing a lot. Santi's probably going to play a lot. Do you have conversations about, like, minutes restrictions and things like that as opposed to, you know, them playing uh, with their respective countries? And then for you, Des, if you were healthy, you think you would have uh, wanted to play for Team USA? Yeah, so we've had really healthy conversation, you know, both, uh, you know, USAB as well as the, the Spanish Federation. Um, I've had quite a few conversations with them myself. I know Taylor has as well. You know, they're, they've been in lockstep. They're more than open on us, you know, sending out, you know, people to, to keep things, you know, kind of um, on the right track, both in terms of, of body and, and game. Um, that They've been awesome to work with. So no, no concerns, you know, on that front. We're, we're excited to see those guys, uh, you know, both compete on the international stage. And uh, I've, uh, Des can answer for himself, but uh, Des is very much, uh, I think, someone that, that uh, w would be wanted uh, on that stage as well. So, Yeah, I, I have multiple conversations with Grant. Um, you know, it's actually interesting. He had the same surgery that I had um, when he was leaving college. So there was like a, a bit of an understanding. Um, but yeah, he had called me a few times and really, really good dude. Um, wanted me to play, but you know, ultimately I couldn't do to my health. But um, you know, this said he'll be in touch in the future for sure. Des, uh, it's likely you and Marcus will be the starting backcourt at the beginning of the season. What excites you most specifically about playing with Marcus? And he talked uh, about pushing people a lot uh, yesterday. Uh, what's your reaction to that and sort of, you know, him wanting to be a leader but also wanting to earn respect from you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. Um, you know, when I can look over to my, my left or right and um, know that he's willing to lay it all, all on the line. Um, you know, and he's proven that time and time again. Um, you know, and every team he's been a part of is, has been winning teams. Um, you know, like he said, pushing guys to get the best out of them. Um, you know, I'm excited. I think that, that he's a guy, when it comes training camp, will probably butt heads and, um, you know, get into it. But, you know, it'll be best for, for us, for our relationship, for our team. We've had multiple conversations, um, you know, ever since he, he got traded to us and I heard the news. Um, so I'm excited to be around, you know, not only a winner, a competitor, um, but great teammate as well. Now, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Congratulations, Des. Uh, Taylor Jenkins has been beaming like a proud father over there on the sidelines. Why don't you come on up and we'll get some photographs with Des.